Okay, here is an in-depth video of the full process of milking here on the farm. This typically takes me about 45 minutes, so I sped this video up so that it was easy to watch. First thing I do is I get everything ready in my milk house. I ice bath my jars, so I get them in a tub and get ice on them. That way they are good and cool before I ever put milk in them. And then I get all of my equipment ready and water ready. My bucket that I take outside to wash the udders with just has some soap and water. Um, and then I have my bucket milker ready to go for whenever I go out to the milking parlor. Right now I only have one cow in milk. I have anywhere from one to four in milk at a time. Uh, so the one cow that is in milk only gives me about six gallons right now once a day. So I get the proper amount of jars all set up and ready to go based upon how many cows I have going. The next thing I do is I go out and put grain in their stalls. Each cow gets a separate kind of grain or mixture based upon if they are milking or if they are dry. And then when I let everybody in, nobody is tied. Everybody kind of knows which stall to go to. They've been through this process enough. They just pretty much walk into their own stalls. Annabelle is the one that is in milk right now and she was the one to take the longest to get into the parlor today. She was down by the hay feeder. She is kind of muddy. Typically they are pretty clean, but we just had a couple inches of rain, so uh, that does cause them to be a little bit dirtier than normal. So once they're in here and eating, I get everything ready to clean them. I'll bring the camera closer so you can see. So I clean the udder really well. Um, sometimes when they're muddy like this, it takes a little bit longer, but I wash until there's no more dirt on the teats, and then I dry with a paper towel, and then I strip each teat separately. And then I have my vacuum pump on in the background, so I turn it to where it is, the vacuum is on for this pump, or for this milker, and then I attach it to the udder. This vacuum pump, I can run two milkers at once, so um, I only have one cow in milk right now. I'll be sure and make a video whenever I have two to four in milk, so you can see how that looks as well. And then the cows just stand here and eat their grain and get milked out. Nobody is tied, so once they are done eating, uh, they will leave the stalls and uh, go out to eat their alfalfa hay. This cow has been in milk for about three months now, so she is down to about six gallons a day. I only milk once a day, so it takes about four to five minutes to milk her out completely. Uh, if you can see too, while I am standing here every now and then, I kind of touch her tail head or right there, give her a little tap on her tail head. Uh, every now and then, whenever you're milking out, they get the urge to pee. And so if you consistently push their tail down or tap them when they do that, that trains them uh, to not pee or poop while getting milked. One thing I have learned in the past 10 years of milking is that cows do very much appreciate a routine and the same routine every day, but they are also highly adaptable. So uh, I only milk once a day and I do that from the day that they calve or freshen and they quickly adapt to that once a day milking and they also uh, do well if I have to move my time around. Typically I always milk in the mornings but I have had to swap them to the evenings at times if I'm going to be out of town and have somebody covering for me to milk and they prefer to milk in the evenings. Um, they're pretty easy to swap around. So cows are definitely versatile um, and you can make your milking routine whatever uh, it is. As long as it's the same routine every day they definitely adapt quickly. So you can see the other ones are done eating. I let them out and then I'm gonna take this milk right inside and start to process it. So I break down my milking machine. I do this every time that I milk. So every part and piece of equipment gets taken completely apart and washed and sterilized before the next milking. So all I do is take the milk and put it through this strainer, which is just a disc filter at the bottom of this funnel. And uh, so that just, my biggest reason for using that is it's a good indicator if you have any mastitis issues but it also does catch any big particles of dirt if you would happen to have any in that milk. Uh, but using a bucket milker is a very clean and closed system, so I typically don't have any issues with any dirt in the milk. I'll show you the disc filter here in just a little bit. You can see how clean it is whenever I'm done. The next thing that I do is I pour the milk into these jars. I have found over the years there are lots of factors that do affect the quality of your milk. Uh, the quality and the taste. The biggest thing is the how sterile and clean your process is of milking. Uh, that's why I'm always very careful about cleaning and sterilizing all of my equipment and being sure that the cow's udder is really clean before I do start milking. 
Um, the other part is how cold that you keep the milk. So rapid cooling these jars really does help with the uh, shelf life of these of the milk. Uh, so when I do it this way, it usually lasts about 14 to 20 days on the shelf. And then the other part that does affect the quality of your milk is also the cow's diet. So um, if they get uh, any kind of off taste to the, to the milk, usually it has something to do with the diet as well. And you can see here, sorry for the skewed audio, but that disc filter is very clean. Um, so there's no dirt in there um, and there was no uh, chunks of milk or anything. So no mastitis issues whatsoever. So then I put my lids on my jar and then I leave the jars in this ice bath until I'm completely done doing all of my chores. So on average, these jars sit in an ice bath for about 20 minutes until I'm completely done. And then after this, it's just a matter of cleaning up all of my parts and letting them air dry. I do really appreciate um, having that rack above my sink to let everything air dry. That really helps with being sure that there's no musty smells or um, leftover moisture before the next milking. The very last thing that I have to do is clean the floor. So I use a leaf blower to blow out all the big particles in the milking parlor. And then I will spray this parlor out and I will spray the concrete floor inside the milk house uh, and clean both of them with uh, dish soap and bleach. <laughs> 